What is up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime, bringing you a new edition of Gundam Models. And today, per your request, I am going to build this. The 1-100 scale Master Grade Age Gundam Age 2 Darkhound from the Gundam Age Animated Series. This was the unique pirate, I would call it a pirate mobile suit, that was introduced in the third season of Gundam Age. And we all pretty much knew that when we looked at it, it was, of course, the Age 2 normal, updated and modified to look like this. Um, we were hoping to see more mobile suits come in as Master Grades from the Age series, and I was actually pleased when I saw this. Uh, I liked the, the head design. <laughs> Um, the, the the javelin, the uh, actual you know lance is one of my favorite parts here of the kit, and it looks so basic and easy to do. So I said, nah, let me try this and, and see how it looks. Um, now, of course, you guys asked me to build this, and this is a straight build. I had ideas for painting, but it just didn't flesh out. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this step by step and we'll do, I'll do recommendations for those of you who have this kit and want to paint it yourselves. So this will be, you know, a fairly quick kit to build. Not, not quick, excuse me, not like a, an SD kit or something like that. We're talking about, oh, it'll probably take about a couple of days. But we're going to go through this one step at a time and check it out. It's a shame that the H2, the, uh, I'm sorry, the Gundam H series, did not continue on with Master Grades. We were hoping to see the H3 or the HFX. Hell, I'll, I'll even take a, a you know one of the enemy suits like the the Legalist, a Legionist, I think it's pronounced. Legalist is pronounced, whatever. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's open up the contents of this kit and see what we have to work with. Oh, let's look at the box art first. Uh, pretty much here speaks for itself. It's a great picture of the Dark Hound, what it looks, and of course when it's transformed. And that's one thing I'm, 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 I'm going to be a little bit happy here. I've always been uh, queasy about transforming my kits when I paint it because I, I, was, I, was, I had the fear that I was going to rub off or scratch off the paint. This one I'm not going to have any problems because this is all going to be, you know, all painted, I mean non-painted, it's going to be easy, but it comes with a lot of parts here, uh, the beam sabers, the the lance, um, a little sh something that goes, um, oh yeah, the little wiring things for the hooks, and I see some different options for the head, we'll cover that during this course of the build. Alright, so let's open up and see what we got. Here's the um, all the parts, the black parts, and I see the the, see the stickers are rug on transfers. We have uh, the only red parts here, which is basically the V-fin. Some more black parts, waist unit. Uh, oh, these are the little shoulder wing things. There's the feet. Portions, I believe, portions of the leg. Uh, inner frame parts, the wiring, the hooks, much more lighter tone charcoal. And we have poly caps, wow, a lot of them. And the neo, uh, green parts, probably for the face mask and all that stuff. Beam rifle, I believe that looks like for the beam rifle. Uh, oh, the lance. Hmm, very small lance. Portions, oh, the assembly of the hands, more parts here. Inner frame parts, lighter tone color, lighter gray. There's the hook right there. And our armor parts. 
and the leg, waist, you know, all that stuff. Wow, this thing hasn't... I'm surprised at how many parts this has. Um, I was under the distinct impression it was not going to be that big, but don't assume that because normally... Um, I forgot this is actually a complex kit because it, it does transform. So yeah, it probably has more parts per cap, you know, per space. Let's look at the manual. Now then, let's see what we got here. Alright, so information of the Dark Hound and its history and all that stuff. I had to put on rope transfers, of course, I had to remove parts. Here's the um, parts tree. I see some parts that need to be uh, omitted, specifically in the here. Don't see nothing there. These are all unique, unique, unique. Polycaps. Not pretty much. You're not supposed to use all of them, so I don't see nothing here that that I have to worry about. But of course, here's the assembly of the body unit with its infamous um, spoiler, the head unit, followed by the arm unit, um, here's of course the color guide, you know, what you want to color it with, um, you can also paint the pilot if you wish. And here it is in action, all painted up and stuff. Then uh, finishing up with the arms, and you're moving on to the waist unit. And then from the waist unit, you go to the legs. Once you finish up with the legs, you put the whole thing together. Then you assemble the shoulder armor. Then you assemble the weaponry, which is basically the beam lance shield weaponry thing. Where to put the... Um, the beam sabers, where it pulls out. The little Hulk um, hook guns, how to assemble it. And then here on this page, transformation and how to transform it into the, uh, the strider mode. I like strider mode. <laughs> and of course, the, uh, the placement of all the decals or decals. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Let's try, let's uh, build this kit. So, let's begin building Dark uh, Gundam Age 2 Dark Hound. Okay, so, the parts you see here will make up the head, head unit of the uh, Dark Hound, Master Grade. Now, even though I'm not painting this, I have to, of course, put on the stickers that make up the little eyes. I know many people don't like that, but... What are you gonna do? But I did notice something. You uh, get another set of L, um, um, stickers for the eyes that goes on the opposite direction, or you use these extra parts, which is the yellow parts, yellow clear parts for this. Now I notice um, there are two parts here that I've never seen before. It may be uh, part of the build. But this part, this part, this part is what you need for the head. I already have the green parts, and I'm going to use the green parts because I like the, the green. So, we're going to begin with this part here. Followed by the, the mouth guard. And then this part for the eyes. Come on, get in there. There we go. So it looks like that, I guess. And then we have this this part that goes all the way in like so. So it looks like that. Then 
trunk hole part, but first thing we need to put on is the um, poly cap. Uh, come on, get in there. There we go. I guess you slide that in here. I imagine. Or not. Oh yeah, there it is. Then we take this. And that goes over like this, like so. Now, according to this on this part here, I gotta make sure I'm looking at this correctly. You have this little part here that goes in the back like so. Yee! Ah. I got it. Luckily I have a safety net. Alright, let's try that again. I put on the stickers for this one, so there's a... I don't know why would you want a gold trim on the green. I put it on either way. I know. Maybe I should have omitted it. But, <clears throat> you put this one here. Like so. You take this part here. Ooh, I think maybe I need to put it on afterwards. Can I take it out? Yeah, here we go. Alright, so you put the... Ah. Alright, so put put this one here. It doesn't go all the way. It, it just holds on to there. Then you take... <laughs> That's going to be annoying. Let's try that again. Come on, here we go. Ah, come on. I should glue this. Just so it doesn't bother the hell out of me. Ah. <laughs> yeah, th th you know what? Th this is ridiculously stupid. I thought this was going to be a quick put on right here, but this thing won't... You know what? Hang on a second. Okay, I finally get it on. I had to put a glue on this guy to knock it off. And of course, this thing is there, but it moves because it has that feature where you can have, um, like a pirate's eye. And then, you take this part here. Put it on like so. If you can. Um... Am I doing it wrong or right again? Oh yeah, it's like this one. And you stick it in like so. And there it is. There's the head of the Dark Hound. And then of course, I guess with the little thing, you put it in and you switch it. Alright, let's now move on to the next part of the kit.